human and centered design in all of our classes. Um, and it might look a little different from class to class, but it's really follows, following that design thinking approach and making sure that um, we always have, we're looking at it through a humanistic lens. So making sure that whoever we are designing for or whatever the project is, uh, really addresses the needs, desires, and um, health, safety, welfare of the user. During this design process, we know that we're on the right path if it is uncomfortable and if it's, uh, if we struggle. So you need to struggle because then you know that you are thinking of the problem from a lot of different points of view, that you've um, used perspectives that are not your own, and that you're not sure of where the project is going. That's how I feel like we know we're on the right path. With all of our projects, I feel like success is when students, it, it, could, be, it could take a, a various forms, but one would be when a student has that aha moment or when they feel that they have persevered or have um, maybe changed their thoughts or, or ideas from the beginning of the process, um, or if they just generally had a very successful uh, positive experience from going through the process.